Good evening from Expert Credit Sweeps. My name is Kristen, and tonight we're going over how to rebuild your credit file while you still have negative accounts on there. So you don't want to do this if you still have large negatives such as bankruptcies, foreclosures, repossessions, or even unpaid charge-offs. You can have, you know, little collections and late payments, but just stay away from those big accounts, get them deleted first, and then start rebuilding. Now, if you're looking for an expert to take over your credit sweep, you can schedule your free consultation using the link you see on your screen. So let's get right to it. What you want to do is have a bunch of different credit types, okay? First of all, we're talking about authorized users. So like I said, you could still have negative accounts on there, just not the big ones. So what you want to do is either get added to your mom's, your husband's, your wife's, your friend, your coworker's uh, account that has good history and a nice limit and this is going to build your score and your history now you can't use the card it just posts to your credit your other option is to actually pay a company for an authorized user but the problem with that is that it's only on there for like 30 to 90 days and you're going to rush and you're going to apply for things that you're not going to be approved for and you're going to be back at square one so try to get added to somebody that you know and it's going to be on there until they either remove you or you remove yourself if you know they accidentally uh, you know max it out or go over 10% whatever it is so you would want to actually watch you know your credit to see uh, the activity on that account another thing that you can do is get added uh, your excuse me is get your rental history and your utilities added Now you want to be careful with that because there's a lot of uh, fraudulent companies and scams going on with that so if you have questions you can ask me if you're my client and I will absolutely direct you to the right place so now you have an authorized user you have your rental history on there and you have your utilities another thing that you can look for is adding secured credit so I know secured credit sucks because you have to put your own money down but the point is to build your credit not to you know be getting airline miles and maxing this out and all that kind of stuff because that's what puts you here in the first place so you're going to start with secured credit there's two companies that I recommend there's Capital One and there's Open Sky now Open Sky is easier to get approved for, but the reason I'm recommending Capital One is because uh, you can go from a secured to an unsecured, and most of the time they will graduate to the unsecured anywhere between six to 12 months. I have seen it you know, within that time frame. Some people say it's 18, but like I said, I've seen it happen in less than that time frame. So um, now you have your authorized user, you have your utilities, you have your rental, and now you have a secured card. So what you want to do is you're only going to spend a little bit. We're talking like 20 to 50 bucks, all depending on your limit. Because remember, you're putting your own money down on this and you have to watch your utilization. Okay, so pay it off two times per month and you're going to see that your scores are going to go up. It may drop at first, and that's just because the average um, average length of time that your accounts have been open, that percentage kind of sucks right now. So after about, I would say, 90 days, you can see an increase in your score, and it could be anywhere between 20 to 100 points. It just all depends on what your credit looks like. And obviously, my credit is different than your credit is different than his credit is different than hers credit. So, uh, her credit. So. You need to just watch your utilization. You need to watch, um, you know, when you pay your balances, the uh, the closing date, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so you can also do catalog cards. Now I know a lot of people don't know what those are, and um, I can easily explain this. So there is my jewelers club and they will give you up to 50 uh, not 50 I'm sorry 5,000 uh, in unsecured revolving credit now this is only for them so it's not even unsecured I'm just reading this directly off their website so what this is is going to post to your credit I'm not sure if it's all three I know it posts to two uh, as in bureaus and this is also going to raise your score so I believe that you do have to pay uh, I uh, it says 99 but 
most of the time it's 100 or 120 or whatever to actually start and then now you're going to have this report on your credit you want to make sure that you make your payments on time now as far as making your payments one of my recommendations is to set everything up on auto pay that way you are never going to be late again okay so we were talking about capital one now let's go to capital one.com they have a cool little tool if you go to credit cards and then see if you're pre-qualified so on this page you'll put in your information and they will match you or not to a card so we were talking about secured so if it matches you to a secured card then like I said go with Capital One because they can eventually graduate you to an unsecured card and that's where you're not putting your own money on it yes they may have to actually close the account and then you know to refund you your money and that can actually hurt your credit but now you have unsecured credit okay so now you have all these different types of credit on there and now we even have an unsecured card once again make sure to watch your utilization make sure to pay on time because you don't want to end up in the same hole that you and you know you started with and um, after about I would say three months or so you can apply for another type of card or you could stay with Capital One and go with one of theirs so what that would be would uh, that's the journey the platinum or the classic and these are unsecured cards once you have those for uh, not those but one of those for about three months now you can go to Kohl's once you have Kohl's and remember we're only using a little bit and paying two times a month once you have Kohl's stay with it for I would say at least three months and then now you can apply for discover so capital one Kohl's and that's because capital one owns Kohl's and then discover so we have an array of different credit now and you're paying on time you're watching your scores go up and your credit history is getting longer because obviously you know you're paying on time these are uh, staying open you don't have to dispute any of you know the accounts to get them taken off because you're doing the right thing and you're going to see how easy it is to keep this going and you're going to rebuild your credit worthiness and your responsibility so something else that you can do is uh, so we already talked about the different types of cards with capital one the journey the classic and the platinum another one that they have is the quick silver one for average credit you do not want to accidentally apply for the one for uh, excellent credit so you go to credit cards and then view uh, there's view top reward cards compare credit cards and then there's that tool we were talking about see if you're pre-qualified you just click on compare credit cards and it's going to show you the different ones that they have so apply for the quicksilver one and this is like i said after having these on there for you know a, not a significant period of time but enough time so that they have kind of seasoned themselves so now you have a couple different unsecured you have a secured or you know if they had to close it then you don't have it anymore you have your authorized user you have your rental history on there you have your utilities on there and now you have a really good foundation for you know making the right credit decisions in the future now you know I can make another video and go into depth about what to do if you didn't have any credit in the first place so we're not dealing with negative items um, you know I'll do that in the future sometime but once you have all your negatives off now you can look at other types of credit such as installment loans you know maybe you want a vehicle even if it's a used one maybe you want to lease something you know maybe you want to add a furniture line so there's a bunch of different you know companies you can go to that work with people that either don't have very high credit scores or you know they may have one or two negatives left um, to remove and you can like I said you can find that this will be an easy process now one of the things one of the last things I want to mention is that you want to look to see which of the bureaus has the highest credit score 
because uh, let's say it's TransUnion. So TransUnion has the highest credit score and you're going to look for the companies that only pull TransUnion. So let's say that it's Walmart. Walmart only pulls TransUnion. TD Bank only print, uh, pulls TransUnion. Uh, Synchrony Bank only pulls TransUnion. So you can go and apply for these cards. Now if it's Equifax or Experian, it's going to be different companies that you'd like to apply for. But of course you want to do the research on that. Now. Once again, if you are looking to get a credit sweep and you know maybe you're stuck, maybe you've been doing your own file for a long time, what I offer is basically what no other company offers. I give payment security, proof of services, meaning you get all copies of everything that I do for you. I start your file the same day. You have unlimited disputes, meaning that you sign up with 100 accounts, I dispute 100 accounts, okay? So if you want to get results, I can get you the results. You can easily schedule your free consultation with me at expertcreditsweeps.com forward slash book online. And that is the site that you're seeing, the, um, excuse me, the link that you're seeing right on your screen. So you guys have a great evening from Expert Credit Sweeps and I'll be seeing you on the next video.